What's happening guys? So this might be the most important video I've ever done. For anyone out there who has a history of yo-yo dieting, who seems to diet hard, and then regain a bunch of body fat when they go back up in calories again, this video is gonna be extremely important for you to understand why this happens. And actually this kind of came about with a question from my client who was asking what the heck the difference is between a reverse diet and yo-yo dieting, whereas with yo-yo dieting and, and reverse dieting, you're getting your calories high and then you're dropping them again, right? Like they're, they're both doing the same thing, but not really. So with yo-yo dieting, you're kind of more frequently going up and down in in calories whereas with reverse dieting you're kind of more steadily going up in calories and then eventually making that slash so even if calories are held equal there's a pretty big difference and for this just so i'm clear to you like this video is more geared toward just the 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 common weight loss person the, the person who is not a competitor someone who just kind of has a long history of dieting and has a really hard time actually losing body fat even on very low calories so it's a little bit different if you're like a competitor coming out of a show although the, the process still works in the same kind of way but this is more geared towards just general population type people all right so with that being said the best way i can possibly explain this to you is that's right we are back to the whiteboard so as you can see here i've got two different um, graphs we've got one for yo-yo dieting one for reverse dieting now there's three different things that we're tracking here. Calories are in green, metabolic rate is in blue, body fat is in red, all right? So as you see here, in both, we're starting with body fat pretty high, but calories and metabolic rate are low. So because of your long history of dieting, you know, as, as a survival instinct of the body, your body wants to hold on to whatever you give it, right? Like if you have a very long history of dieting, your body doesn't care about getting really lean, it cares about survival. So if calories are low, it's gonna do what it can to kind of hang on to what you give it and the body's going to adapt to what you do. So from a survival standpoint, this is great. For losing body fat, this is not so great. So when you get to this position and you are having, you have a higher position of body fat but your metabolic rate is really low, and so are your calories because your metabolic rate will, will adapt to whatever you do. So if your calories are low for a long period of time, your metabolic rate is going to drop down to that. Now, as you're going to see here, even though calories are very low and metabolic rate is low, you get to a point here where like you're not losing fat. See, your, your fat's the same as your metabolic rate as your calories. And they're very low. You can't possibly lo lose at this point. It's just way too hard. So you give up, right? So you're like, screw it. I don't care anymore. And now you've been really restrictive and you're hungry, so you just binge. So now you see your calories jump way up high, right? So with that, because your metabolic rate is so low, your body fat is going to jump up, right? Now, you see that you see a very small bump in metabolic rate. It improves a little bit, but not anywhere near what it's like with the in, ter in terms of how many calories you actually bumped up to. So you see a small bump in metabolic rate. Now you get to a point where you're like, holy crap, I'm gaining fat faster than I want. I can't do this. I better cut again. I better, I better drop my calories. So you panic, you reduce your calories like crazy, and you drop them right back down to where you used to be before. Now the metabolic rate adapts back down again. You might lose a little bit of fat. You might not even lose any fat, right? So now again, you're going for a while. Crap, it's not working. Screw this, I give up again. Now you really binge because you're just depressed and you're pissed off and things aren't working. So now your calories shoot way up you see a big spike in body fat because again, your metabolic rate is slow. It's not working very well. Now, you see increases in body fat super fast because you are, you are maintaining on very low calories. If you're maintaining on 1,000 calories and you start eating 3,000 calories a day, you're gonna gain body fat really fast, right? So, what happens again? Ah, oh, crap, I'm getting too fat. I can't handle this. I need, I need to slash my calories. I can't do this. So boom, now you get even more aggressive. You, you drop your calories even lower right? Again, you might see a small re reduction in body fat, maybe not, all right? Your metabolic rate will adjust back down again. Now, you still aren't losing fat. Now, it's just like, I give up. I can't do this. I, it's not worth it. There's no way I can continue to do this. I'm just born to be fat. It is, is what it is. Calories come back up again. Body fat shoots up. Metabolic rate sees a small improvement and the cycle continues forever. So basically what happens in this instance, when, you go with, when you're doing yo-yo dieting, your body will basically keep your metabolic rate low, but you see increases in body fat every single time you decide to bring your calories up because you just can't do it anymore. So gain body fat, 
no improvement in metabolic rate. Gain body fat, no improvement in metabolic rate. So you just go up and down and you get nowhere, right? You just, you basically just get bigger. Now, with reverse dieting, again, we're starting with a body fat high. Again, we're starting with metabolic rate and calories very low. But now what you're doing is you're slowly increasing your calories over time to try to minimize body fat gain. Now there's probably gonna be some body fat gain during this process. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Yes, there's some hyper responders, but most people will gain. You're eating more calories than your body can maintain on, so you gain a little bit of body fat. But the difference here is, while your calories are increasing, now, since you're on a steady increase in calories, you get a steady increase in the metabolic rate too. So it's coming up with your calories. Yes, your body fat is increasing along with it a little bit, but not nearly as much because you're keeping these things closer together. Over time, eventually these three things kind of start to merge. So now your metabolic rate, your calories, and your body fat are all kind of around similar levels. You hold that for as long as you can because you want to make sure that your body is adapted. I, I needed a bigger whiteboard to really show this because what I would do is get your, your calories up and then just kind of go straight across here and hold it so that your body is good and adapted to these new calories. Your metabolic rate is good. Your calories are in a good place. Your body fat has leveled out. Now, now you go to cut. You bring your calories back down. Your metabolic rate's gonna adjust with it because it's gonna adjust to whatever you do so your metabolic rate starts to adjust to your calorie drop but now you see the body fat going down. You'll probably hit a sticking point. You're going to hit a sticking point because again, your body always adjusts to what you do. It adapts to whatever you do. But when that happens, now you make a uh, bigger, you, now you, would, you slash your calories again. Metabolic rate starts to drop, body fat starts to drop. Now you see we're starting to get somewhere and we can continue that process on. Now you're eventually probably gonna have to do multiple cycles of reverse dieting and cutting to get to where you wanna be. Very, few, very, very few people can just make one big cut, get it all off and just be done. But you also have to understand that like, there's always continuous phases in what we do. Maintenance for the rest of your life is, is, is a pretty unrealistic thing for most people. It's just we always need to be doing something, changing something in some sort of a phase, right? So we're either in a building phase or we're in a cutting phase. You're either trying to build lean body mass or you're trying to reduce body fat. Just staying the same doesn't work for most people because what happens is you get to where you want to be. Now you're done. Now you, get, now you just... Go back to your old eating habits, your metabolic rate's slower, weight comes back up again, right? So you just have to understand that that's kind of how things work. But if you do it with the reverse process, you're getting everything back together, you can continue this process and eventually get your body fat down. And then you, your body fat will come back up a little get, bit again as you reverse, but now you're trying to build muscle, it's coming up, but not nearly look like it would with yo-yo dieting. And then eventually down the road again, now you can make another drop in calories and see progress again. That's the huge, huge, huge difference between yo-yo dieting and reverse dieting and why you have to stop this binge restrict pattern because you'll never get where you want to be if you continue this pattern moving forward. It just is a disaster for body fat. Now, one other thing I want to point out too. As you, if, if you look at my diagram, you see here, your calories are down here, and now I'm showing you losing weight with higher calories. Is that possible? Does that happen for some people? Yes, it, it can definitely happen. But especially if you have a very extreme history of dieting, very long history of dieting, there's a good chance that you have to get your calories back down here where you used to lose weight. So you might come all the way back up here and improve your metabolic rate. You might have to take this and, here, let me change this. Now we're, we're looking at calories, right? You might have to take your calories, drop them all the way back down here again. But then to do that, now these things start to adjust again. You're gonna start losing body fat and um, your metabolic rate will slow too. So even though you had to get just as aggressive as you used to, the difference is before you would get aggressive and you wouldn't see any results. Now you're gonna get aggressive and you're going to see results. So that's the main difference. Like, I, I can't stress that enough. You won't necessarily be able to diet on more calories. Some people can, some people can't. The, the more extreme your history is, the more likely you're gonna have to drop your calories all the way back down to where they were before to see results. But again, I can't stress enough. The difference is this time, it will work. But you gotta be patient. I cannot stress enough that this requires patience. You have a long history, you've been doing this for years. Many people have been doing this yo-yo dieting for 20, 30, even 40 years. 
if this is the case, you're not gonna you're not gonna just all of a sudden fix things in like three months. You know, it might take a year. It might take a year and a half, two years. I don't know. It's different for everybody. It might only be a handful of months. It might be a long time. But the point is, you cannot reverse diet too long, but you can sure as hell cut too soon. So the more patient you can be and the longer you can do this process and the higher your calories can get and the longer you can hold them, the better off you'll be, the better your body will respond when it's time to cut. So anyway, that's all I got. I hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. And uh, if you did like this video, please share with other people. This is a, a topic that's very misunderstood. Not very many people get it. And this could really help a lot of people, I think. So please share it around. Let your friends know that <laughs> if, they, if they go through this pattern, let them know about it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video because it does help. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace. that you're giving every minute every day i've been craving